holy fucking shit, Diablo Immortal. I just watched Yang Ya's video on a loot box simulator. If I remember, I will put it in the video description so you can go check out his video. But the loot box is so insane. <sighs> to get the five star gems, you need six of them for your six slots. You need specific ones you want because there's a lot more than just those, of course. I'm not sure how many different ones there are. I'm assuming there are five different character classes, so each one would have six, assuming there's no combining here, so that's 30. You need six out of 30. And then you need to get duplicates of each one to max out each one. But you need 10 duplicates. Plus there's a different fee to holy it or enchant it, which is another thing on top. So whatever it takes to get, you know, it's just... I was watching this thing, he got a couple duplicates in that simulator, and it, out of 10 gems total, he got two duplicates, so that's two, he, assuming he wants the rest, because what if he doesn't even want the rest? He could get duplicates, but not even have all the stuff he wants. With 10 gems, he's at over 55,000 US dollars. 55 grand! <laughs> that's a decent pickup! That's brand new! And that's just for 10 which, in 10, you might not even get all the stuff you want just for your character. On top of that, you need... <coughs> um, you need 10 duplicates of every single one! I mean, you're talking well over $500,000... That's a really nice house in today's market. <laughs> a really nice house in today's market when the market cost for a house is way higher than what it was a couple years ago. A couple years ago, that would be enough money to get you three houses that are decent. Today it's not that much, but th still, that isn't even a guarantee. You might need a whole lot more than 500000 so let me tell you about a good system, World of Warships, where you spend money, you know exactly what you're getting. You want to spend money in this game, it tells you, spend this much, you get this much. Premium shop. Eventually. Now, yes, there are loot boxes that you can get in this game, which could be a super container, which could contain a ship. A buddy of mine got a Turpitz in a super container. He didn't buy it. He bought, got it in there. So, ships are what you want. Okay, that's a lot of ships. Let's take a look at a ship. That's a tier 10. Let's not take a... Oh. That's a tier 10 for a special deal, which is why it's so cheap. Tier 10, Tier 10, let's find something not Tier 10, but are you? Maybe, how about something I already have? Ooh, the Kearsarg is a Tier 9. Tier 9. Yes, these are pricey, but you get it guaranteed. Okay, the Graf Zeppelin, I have that thing. But, oh, there's the Vanguard. So these are Tier 8s. The, not the Z44. The Roma, I don't have. The Graf Zeppelin, German aircraft carrier, and the Vanguard is a British battleship. Okay, the key, Japanese battleship. I don't know what the Borodino is. Constellation. I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, I think it's one of those heavy shell Americans. There it is, Turpits. Turpits, $51.20. It sounds like a lot. $51.20 for Tier 8 battleship. That is a Tier 8 battleship. 
cruisers are cheaper, destroyers are cheaper. Still, aircraft carriers tend to be tied, like the Graf Zeppelin up there. But when you spend $51, you're guaranteed the ship. It comes with the ship and the port slot, which a uh, port slot otherwise is an independent thing, which is... Is it available? Yeah, there are various loot boxes you can get, of course. But... I have 104... Oh, there it is! 300 gold. Well, 300 gold... For a port slot. Uh, 300, we're looking at. Uh, other premium. So, 1250 for 5 bucks. We need 300 for a port slot. So, it's not much. It's peanuts. But that gets us the ship and the slot. Where is my turpets? I've got two of them. Here's one. So here's my turpets, and I get a port slot with it as well for $51.20. Now, is it a good ship? Yes. Is it the king of the seas? It's a tier 8. That right there, no. Now, there is vessels like the Mikhail Kutuzov, which are overpowered for their tier, but that one's still a tier 8. The Turpets is a good brawler. Get in close, hit them with your, ac well, with your, what are overall inaccurate except for close range guns, decent armor, good secondaries, and the surprise in the form of your torpedoes. This thing excels at close range battle. But that's where you can take the most damage and have the least chance of surviving when you run into an enemy destroyer at point blank range. Or you find out you're broadside on to, say, this thing, which you can absolutely face. Man, I remember that battle. The Yamato here is a tech tree only, though there is the Arpeggio Yamato, which one could buy. No, I don't think it's available anymore, but it's tech tree, and when I was in a Turpets, I torpedoed two Yamatos and sank something else, Des Moines, before I went off and killed a Grosser Curfest as well, because they got stupid. Instead of opening the distance, they went to point-blank range so I could torpedo them. But when I was in a Yamato once, I killed six Turpitzes. And I shot up a Montana. <laughs> it all depends on how you play. Tier 10s tend to be the best. <clears throat> Again, the Mikhail Kuchelov is great as a Tier 8, but against Tier 10s, it doesn't really stand a chance. Uh, there are some vessels, like the Missouri, which you could earn back in the day. You can't really earn it anymore. You buy it. That was phenomenal. Uh, the Arpeggio ships, like my Arpeggio Kirishima here, you could earn. They don't have that deal anymore. We need Japan to make another anime. Uh, they're doing a Zoro Lane right now, which <laughs> Zoro Lane has Bismarck, so I'll take it. And Enterprise. But, I mean... The Yoshino here, I earned for coal. In my containers, I get coal on occasion, and that coal you use, there's 800 right there, I uh, use that coal to buy ships in your armory. Here we are. Uh, a tier 10 aircraft carrier, 264,000 without using a uh, coupon. It'd be 198,000 with. A tier 10 aircraft carrier, 198,000. Now, I just got 800, so that's not even 1,000, but I got that in... Well, you can actually get that in just a day of play. So that's 1,000 there. You need 200,000. That's 200 days of play, and you can get a ship. Yeah, that's not great. But... That's being a tier 10, it'll probably be $75. You can spend $75 and guarantee the ship. Or you could get the Texas here, a tier 5, which I think was 20 bucks. 
and you're guaranteed the ship. You are literally buying the ship itself. Not a loot box with a chance. You are straight up getting it. Issei, I think I got for 30 bucks. I, here's my Arizona over here. The Issei, by the way, is a battle carrier. So, yeah. It's a Fuso modified. I have my Arizona. Which I got for like 30 bucks. It's a tier 6. You want the higher tier ones? Well, here's the Enterprise. Good old Big E. 50 bucks. And you're guaranteed the ship. Here's the Hornet. And in this game, not only is it just the Hornet, you see that? Yeah. You get Strike Squadrons of these things. <laughs> I say, those are pretty powerful, but they can be shot down easily. Uh, for airplanes. This was, I think, 50 bucks. Here's my Kearsarg, which is a battle carrier. It's an American one. And uh, this was more. That's a lot of guns. <laughs> Look at all those. <laughs> Jeez. Plus there's these things. I earned my Missouri, others did not. I bought the Graphs up and I bought the Turpets, the Sean Horst, Worst Bite, which, uh. Oh, yeah, I got Hood. Oh, there's Jingles. I'm putting Jingles between the Hood and the Worst Bite. Train them up. <laughs> I mean, the Hood was maybe 40, 45. Is it tier 7? Or is it? Is that tier 8? It's tier 7. Boar Spite was maybe 30 at tier 6. But despite how pissed off everybody is at Wargaming for what they're doing, the free to play game World of Warships, you click buy a ship, you get the ship. Now, there was something for Christmas a few years back when I did it. I bought a bunch of Christmas things, and I got a lot of ships. I spent over $100 on the Christmas things, and I got a ton of ships. I got like 30 of them. Or, or maybe not 30, maybe it was 20. I got a lot of ships. Though, a couple of them were duplicates, so I just got gold doubloons in exchange. You can't have a duplicate ship, so they just give you the doubloons instead. I still prefer this thing. Sorry, Jingles. <laughs> <coughs> um, just... And, and the fact that the Yamato here, one of the most powerful ships in the game, it's free! There it is. Oh, there's the Super Yamato now. Satsuma. It has even bigger guns. Uh, 57 million? Well, I'm halfway there. Jeez. Okay. But I can get this for free. One of the most powerful ships in the game. Guaranteed, guaranteed, Oh, that's a that's a trial. <sighs> Come on, Diablo. 